In this clip, we're going to take a look at Mustafa Assal in that deep three-quarter backhand off the open stance, playing a really beautiful drive, and then the way he sets himself up in such a dominating position. So I'll start with the end in mind. Look at that. He's in a great position there. He's looking for that ball. He's really watching. Anything that's going to come down that line, he's going to be able to volley it, or his opponent has to play like a 9 out of 10 to get it past him. So if we can get you into this final position, fantastic. This is what I call the floating tee. If you notice where his feet are, a little bit towards the left of the tee, I like the idea that he's slightly leaning and then looking towards where the activity is. And then finally, where his hips are facing. I like that 45-degree angle with the hips, so roughly to about there. Okay, so let's go back a little bit. It's this position here that he does so well. Again, really difficult to do on that open stance, but look at that great stretch. Look at the reach between the two legs there. Really nice open lunge. And when he makes contact, look at how he gets that arm really straight. So that's a really straight arm. And if I zoom in a bit, look at that little wrist position. This is really interesting. When he's able to slightly cock and bend his wrist there. So if you just have a little look at that wrist position, it's almost like inverted, almost going that way a little bit slightly. And that means that racket head can look forward, face the front wall, and he can send everything off in that direction. So it's this slightly open wrist position, but also combined with the open stance, the, uh, the, the nice straight arm, lovely back position as well, really reaching, really extending. But what I really like is that racket head is slightly above the wrist. That wrist position is nice and cocked, and that makes a big difference with the ability to send the ball upwards. And as you can see, he's breaking around the back of that ball with that wrist, opening it up, pulling it from slightly behind himself, hardly any follow through, just a little flick of the wrist there, hits that middle line and gets a little bit of zip and power, sending that ball through to the back so he can get into that final good position. Again, one more time for good measure. Goes in there, open stance, gets his racket nice and early, by the way, like gets his arm across his body. So I really am a big fan of that. So again, zoom in. Look at how he gets that arm across his body really early. A lot of players don't get that position that well. And from there, he's then able to play that shot, basically chip it down the line with a little bit of pace, take up a really strong position to look to volley the next shot.